restoration along one track. Right at the end of the summer, we will have that second track available. It used to be a storage track, and it was too close to the wall to do any work on the cars. Now they're moving that track out, so we'll be able to do uh, restoration and repair work on both tracks. We have a pit down here, so we can get down underneath. There's a lot of the equipment and stuff from the car is only accessible from underneath, so it saves them a lot of crawling under the car, which they had to do originally. And uh, this car is a Philadelphia car from the late 1930s. It's just in for well change of loop. You know, it's not all change of loop, but it's the same concept. The car behind it, remember I showed you that big red Philadelphia car? That's its operating cousin. Unfortunately, some of the steel around the doors has rotted out, rusted out to the point where it needs to be replaced. So it came into the shop uh, right after January, and it has to be out in time for Santa Trolley, so it has to be done by Thanksgiving. Because we have, that's the biggest car we have, and we need every seat for Santa Claus. The one in the back <laughs> is a, a car from Fayette County, Westmoreland County, West Penn 832. It looked worse than the worst car you ever saw in the shop. Sorry, in the, in the other building. It has been completely torn down, new body, new roof, new motors, everything. And now they're, they're doing kind of wiring up the electrical and the plumbing for the air brakes. And our goal is to have that car in service in 2016. So today, Sundays are usually slow. Saturdays we can have as many as 15 people working here. This side is metal. In the back is a wood shop. This whole other side of the building is storage. This is where we store parts because a lot of the parts for these cars, if we don't have them and we're done because they can't, nobody makes them. So that hole along that wall is all storage. We so, have some of the switch and signal stuff in here too? Switch and signal actually stores their stuff up the other building. They have their own storage up in the other building. Yeah, there, there was a part of the other building I did not show you. And uh, the signal guys just, that's where they store all our stuff. Like we just, they just put a whole new signal system in going up the valley. They just modernized that. The 1908 system. one, right? Oh, no, that's new now. Yeah. It's now uh, Union Switch the signal for the 1920s. We took the old 1908 signal system out. It was just too unreliable. Okay. The old Nashard. It's called the Nashard system. It was just too unreliable. So we replaced it with a 1930s system that was much more reliable. If you come with me, we can actually get over into the main building. We don't have to go out 